Hi Virgo, I'm Anisha. You can visit me at www.tarobyanisha.com and this is your monthly forecast for April 2012. We start this month with Mercury going direct. Thank God for that. And Mercury is going to be bringing its entire benefits of communication along with it. Mercury is transiting your 7th house of partnerships. So all the collaborations, all the joint agreements, contractual obligations, everything is just going to gain a momentum. It's not just in the workplace but also in the personal space as well. Things will start opening up for you. It's also a great time to be addressing issues that may have been bothering you or you may have been wanting to hear from either closest partnerships or from business partnerships at this point of time. It's also a great time for you to be more vocal. You will be able to put forward your thoughts, your ideas more effectively than you have been able to since last month. You would not be misunderstood. It's a great time to communicate what it is that you feel and at workplace how it is that you want your work to progress. It's a great time to communicate in all quarters nonetheless. We have Mars that goes direct on the 14th and that's great news again. And Mars is going to be transiting in your first house of self. So a lot of you are going to be sitting and thinking about things that are uh, very closest to you, your dreams, your desires, your goals, how it is that you present yourself to the outside world, how it is that you see yourself. In astrology, the house, uh, the first house of self is one of the most difficult houses to read because uh, it is something which is very unique to you. Your dreams and your desires are something which are very, very unique to you. So a lot of you are going to be, you know, not just being vocal, but you are going to be investigating a lot on what is it that you really want, be it out of a business partnership, be it out of your personal life. So there's going to be a lot of... Um, uh, questioning on the self that is going to uh, happen and it's uh, I think it's it's a lovely exercise I think a lot of you need to uh, do a pro and a con list and uh, really know for yourself you know it, it's uh, while it's fine on one side that uh, people fool us but uh, I think it's quite unforgivable if we fool ourselves so it's really a month for a reality check in a good way. On the 6th we have the beautiful full moon and it is happening in Libra and you are again going to be putting your closest partnerships under a scanner. I'm going to be reviewing this in great detail in my love and relationship uh, video. We have uh, a lot of stress paid this month on your joint resources you're going to be focusing a lot on maybe your partner's income it's also a great time for a lot of you to acknowledge accept and transform your fears or uh, your insecurities at this point of time it's the energies are very positive around your workers and if you make an effort to change anything any habit at this point of time be it relationship uh, related or be it even something like giving up smoking it's a brilliant time to do that. It's also a great time for a lot of you to be starting a new health regime. So if you've been looking for a new diet at this point of time or if, we, if you've been wanting to um, you know, start an absolutely new exercise, a way of exercising, I think you should uh, look at an alternate way of doing it. So maybe yoga, pilates, something you know, in this would work quite well for you. Maybe not the conventional going to the gym. I think a, lo a lot of you also need to be getting your energy off since uh, mass comes direct. There will be a lot of pent up energy that would be there and you know there are chances that a lot of you could lose your cool around the 16th and the 17th. So be careful of that, watch your speech, uh, how it is that you're addressing, um, you know you may come across uh, as um, not sharp, but uh, Virgos have this uh, trait of uh, being very critical even when they are trying to help. So take care not to nitpick and not to criticize uh, too much this month, Virgos. Overall, I would say a great month for you. It's also a great time for you to be mending bridges with your parents. So uh, for those of you who have been having strained conversations with a father figure, 
it's a great time for you to uh, have a chat with them and smooth things over. Have a great April. I'll see you again in May. And thank you so much for watching.